Well, hey, everybody. This is uh, Kim Huffman. I'm the seniors leader here at the port, and I have a story for you today. For all you young and harders out there, that's everybody who's 55 and over. Uh, I hope you will appreciate this story. The zest for living can remain vibrant as long as one chooses to make it so. This was almost the motto of one woman who let her spunk shine. This pleasant 76-year-old woman found a passion in her adult years for cars. Not just any car, it was hot rod cars, which triggered her fancy. The exhilaration of driving fast and being in a muscle car flowed through her veins. This led her to purchase a show car she called her own. When the opportunity presented itself, she bought a bright purple 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. Then she got license plates for it, which stated 6 PK to go. She called it Plum Crazy because of its color. And because she thought a 70-plus-year-old woman driving a car like that would make sense to people. Now, she had another car she uh, tooted around town in. But when the show season was on, she could only be seen rumbling down the streets in her purple muscle car. The vibrations felt when her car drove by could not be mistaken for anything other than a true muscle car. One summer day, heading home from a car show, she and her friend, with his 1968 Dodge Dart, stopped by a quiet country restaurant. Their two muscle cars shining brightly in the parking lot near the empty cafe. cafe. They sat quietly enjoying their meal in the peacefulness of the countryside since it was the middle of the afternoon when a group of bikers strolled in. Hot off their motorcycles, they were trying to impress others with uh, how manly they could be. A few carried their bravado uh, into the cafe and one who was seen, seemed to be a rough and tumbler guy, uh, started boasting. It was not long after their arrival when one of the macho men started to talk about the purple car in the parking lot. His comments were designed to denigrate the person or the man who supposedly owned the car as he chided things about it being so feminine and girlish and not fit for any man to be driving down the street. All, the, all this he was saying, not really knowing who owned it. Finally, he asked, whose car is that purple monster out there in the parking lot? Well, with that, this gray-haired, vibrant, 76-year-old senior citizen spoke up. To his dismay, the biker did not know quite what to say as he had just insulted a potential mother or grandmother. She let him know it was her car, and yes, it was feminine, and made just right for her. As she finished her meal, her and her friend headed out the door. She nudged her friend and told her, and told him it was time they give those boys a show. As they pulled out slowly on the old deserted road, they lined up as if to drag race. Her friend blasted off the starting line while she proceeded to do a burnout with her tires filling the sky with smoke. It looked like the restaurant was on fire before she let loose and exploded down the road. The bikers were left blinded by the smoke with a newfound respect for feminine colored cars, senior citizen drivers, and women who stand up for their passions. 
Her story reminds us, at times, we have to stand up for what we are, and who we are, and what we enjoy, and how we want to live, no matter what others might think. In the end, it's better to be true to yourself. So, hey, I wish you much peace, happiness, and success in this coming week. And remember, Jesus loves you, and so do we. Well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Have a great day and week.